Hi, this is Dave X from Motorworks. I've uh, got a Mazda 5 in with uh, DPF fault. The DPF lights flashing, we've done a few of these now, so what we're going to do is do a forced regeneration using the diagnostic equipment and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so we're using the snap on verdict. Um, get on to the Mazda. It does take a little while. Uh, 2006. Auto ID. Uh, yep, that's the one. It's Mazda 5, not Mazda 6. Engine management. Continue. Functional tests. Service functions. Diesel particulate regeneration. That's what we're after. This will perform a manual regeneration. Continue. They're the procedures you must adhere to. We've already read them. We've done a few of these. So we'll OK that. Vehicles in neutral. Engines running. The coolant temperature I think has to be up to 70 on these. We've done Vauxhall Vectras. They have to be up to 80. But as long as it's up to what it wants, then we can start. There we go. Just going to see the vehicle. Okay, so we're with the car. DPF light is still flashing, and we've got about 1800 RPM on the rev counter. Bear in mind, this is the vehicle doing it itself now. Uh, this is what we've got coming out of the back. It looks like there might be a slight misfire on this vehicle as well, so we'll have to check that out afterwards. But basically, that is the beginning of the force regeneration. Uh, the timing gets adjusted on the vehicle. The vehicle feeds a little bit more fuel down into the system and it burns the fuel inside the, the uh, DPF. So that's the beginning of it. The car will rev up a little bit more than this. Hopefully then, at the end of the procedure, the, uh, the DPF light can be reset and the customer can go off happy, but we will have to look at that slight misfire as well. Uh, so we'll come back to it a little bit later when it's cleared itself. You can see it's starting to clear already. So when it's cleared itself, uh, we'll come back to it. See what's been uh, see what's been going on. See what the results are. So the smoke is subsiding. Uh, it's very warm. Put your hand down by the exhaust pipe there, and it is really hot. Uh, the fumes that are coming out. But uh, yeah, we're still going. Probably halfway through the procedure. So it's been running for about five or six minutes now. We'll come back to it uh, when it's when it's finishing up. Right, we're 11 minutes in. Uh, if we look in the bottom right hand corner, it says 11 minutes to go. Um, so we're just waiting for the vehicle to finish its regeneration. Uh, we'll go back to the vehicle in a minute. Okay, we're back again. Um, as you can see in the corner there, when it focuses, uh, 27 minutes into the procedure, still not finished. Uh, there is a little status bar along the top there, that green bar that's only about a third along so two thirds of the way it could take an hour and a half to regenerate the filter so we'll be back again see where we are in a minute right so the regen procedure is finished nothing too exciting happened just at the end the revs went back down to the usual tick over rpm for this vehicle which is about 800 rpm uh, we're now going to go on to the service codes check the codes and clear them so that we can get rid of that DPF light so go service codes, cam codes key on engine off and we've got that one code there which is uh, DPF regeneration frequency that's the only code that we've come across so we're going to go back and clear the codes Key on engine off again. That's that code cleared. Turn the ignition off for five seconds just to make sure that everything's reset. 